Hi y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to From My Vanity. Today is my finale for the Finish 9 by New Year's project painting challenge that I started, oh, two, three months three months ago, I think it was a, a little over two months ago that I started. I will have linked down below my intro to this project panning as well as the one um, update I did about a month or so ago as sharing where I was at in the challenge, but today is my finale. I finished up a couple of the products that I knew I wanted and knew I could finish by, by the end of this project, and then the other products I just, I made substantial progress on, which is what I wanted to do in this challenge. But anyway, we'll get into all that in the video let's just dive right into the nine products that i picked out to pan by the end of the year all right so first up let's go ahead and touch on the ones that i no longer have the setting spray from beauty project beauty uh, i will be putting in pictures so you guys can see but i have already finished that up i finished it when i did my um, update post which i can link up here if you want to go watch that again it'll be down below but it, it's gone i threw it away i didn't want to hold it on to it for the rest of those projects so that one is done also finished is the perfume that i selected which was the avon uh, 007 perfume. I forget the exact title, but it was a very old perfume, little travel size bottle that I've had for years, and I just wanted to finish up and get it out of my collection. And then I rotated in some other samples of uh, perfumes, and I have gone through two others in the past, finished up this one, and which, if you're curious, the other two were Marc Jacobs Honey. And then this is Omnia by Crystalline. Oh, it's from Bulgari. I'll have it linked down below, but went through this, finished it up. It was fine. Um, the honey one my husband made several comments of when I was wearing it, so I definitely know he likes that. And then I am nearly done, which I should be done with this by the end of the year. You can't see it, but this is Mulgar's Alien, I believe. Just a, a, a sample size that I got in an Ulta or Sephora order, and I am really excited that this challenge has kind of kickstarted me back into wearing perfumes, and I actually remember. I finished up that travel size, and then I've nearly finished five sample size perfumes, so I'm really excited about that and hope to keep the momentum going into the new year. <laughs> okay, so that was all that I had finished when I did my update, and now we got into some more products that I finished. The first one that I finished was the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. I used the last teensy weensy little bit of it this morning. I was so excited, so excited to be done. I have a lot of other pressed powders. I've been kind of chomping at the bit to finally get to um, use and try out again and just be able to bring back into rotation. So while I love this powder, I do recommend it and I do have another one, a brand new one ready to go. I think we're gonna take a break and enjoy some other ones, but yeah, this also was is complete. And then I had another face powder, which was the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder here. The, this is where I started, and then this is where the update was. I'll be having pictures right here. And then now I actually, opened it and it is completely, completely done. I am so proud to have finished this. This is how many ounces of product? 2.3 ounces of product, which I feel like is a lot. Um, I was panning this just because it was getting, it was one of the older powders in my collection and I wanted to get it out, but um, I'm excited to go to my Walmart and purchase another one of these because I really do like this powder and think it's a fa fabulous, affordable powder. It does have a very strong fragrance if you're not aware, um, very floral fragrance, but I enjoy that. So it works great for my oily skin and I enjoy using it and I'm so proud of myself for finishing it. So yeah, two powders, done. All right, another product that is officially done is this Rimmel Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. Um, it doesn't look any different, but I promise you this baby is done. I can actually like see through the, through the tube at this point. I can't get any more out of the product. So that also is done and empty. And then my last product that I actually finished um, is the Bite Beauties. Uh, it was their High Pigment Pencils. I believe they discontinued this line, but it was in the color Sable. But um, I just reapplied before the video and it is like scraping my lips, so it is done. It took longer than expected, but this wasn't something I wore like repeatedly or constantly. I just tried to wear it at least, I don't know, three, four times a week. So I'm still proud that I was able to finish it and just get it completed. All right, here on out, these are not products that I finished, but these are ones that I wanted to um, make significant headway on, I guess, or just use consistently and get some good usage out of. And the first one I'll show you is this Rimmel, what's it called? Scandalized Waterproof Cold Cajole Liner. The writing, I've almost, I've almost uh, sharpened it down to where I can't read what it is, but yeah, this is how much I have left. This is about how tall it is, and this is that line right there. 
is where we started. So um, not half gone, but definitely I feel like a very significant amount off. And this I only use um, in my waterline and then some days if I'm feeling brave and <laughs> think I can do it without making my eyes water all tight line. Yeah, did not use it up, but did not start this um, project wanting to use it up. I just want to make a significant amount of progress and I feel like I have definitely done that. Okay, this I am super excited to share with you guys because I actually hit another pan part of the pan this morning and it is the Rimmel Photo Ready uh, Bronze and Cheek Bronzer and in the first uh, update I shared with you that I hit side pan and this morning when I was doing my makeup I hit pan in the middle and I am so proud of myself I was just like oh my goodness that's so exciting. Today's makeup was just awesome because I finished both of those powders today, I finished the pencil today and then I hit pan on this bronzer and I'm just through the roof. <laughs> I am way too excited about this. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is where we are at at the end of this uh, challenge. And I am just like super impressed that I was able to hit pan because this product, when I pulled it into my collection, was not something that I had used very often. Like I had made a little bit of a dip in this side, which you guys will be able to see in the, the starter um, pictures. But I made something of a dip in this side, but not really much on this side. And um, I've used only this as my bronze and contour. Every day I do my makeup, and I do my makeup almost every day, like six days out of the week. But, uh, so yeah, I've been using this very consistently, and obviously consistency has paid off because now I have side pan right there, and then pan in the middle. So yeah, I was super excited to see that, and I feel very accomplished in this Project Painting Challenge just to see that I was able to hit pan on this powder during that the challenge. And then very last up is the most unexciting, but it is the NYX blush in Dusty Rose. Um, this is a difficult blush, and <laughs> this blush is so old and so well used that like during, I don't think it was broken during my first update, but a couple, like a week or two ago, the, the cap broke off. But yeah, still no pan in this thing, um, and I've been using it every day. That I do my makeup since I started this challenge. I have used no other blush. And I think at this point, I'm just ready to put this to rest. I'm ready to toss this and be done with it. This is going on at least four or five years old, I want to say. I'm, this is the blush I used at my wedding. Um, and I've been married for nearly four years. So it's old. Um, and it's just... It's not my most favorite color, you guys know. I like to be very neutral with my blush. I like almost a not there blush and with this it's just it's very bright so I couldn't I didn't really use much of it each day but I don't know I'm just I'm just kind of over this blush <laughs> so the fact that I've used it so often for so long and the fact that it's now broken and I still can't see any darn pan anywhere or even what looks like a hint of pan I do think I am just going to with the new year now that I've decluttered my collection and I, you know, I've got all, you know, everything in order, I've got my collection organized the way I like it, I think I am going to just toss this and just put this little guy to rest and enjoy my other blushes before they all get old because I feel like if I do really try to hit pan or finish this, goodness, I feel like if I just try to hit pan, all my other blushes will have gone bad by the time I actually hit pan on this one. Like this is still a really pretty blush, but it is a bit darker. I haven't minded it with the winter and stuff. I mean, I have it on my face today. I feel like it fades pretty quickly because I'll put it on and with the challenge, I've been putting on some noticeable blush and then by the end of the day, I don't know, I feel like I don't see it as much. So, I don't know, just overall, I'm just, I'm over this blush. So, didn't pan it, didn't hit pan, didn't finish it, but I think I am done with this blush and will remove it from my collection at the end of the year. All right, and those are all the products that I had set out to, to pan before the end of the new year, and I'm really excited with where I'm at on all the products, even the NYX blush, even though I didn't finish it, I do think it the, doing this challenge has helped me come to terms with the fact that I'm done with the blush, even, even if the blush isn't done. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed this project pan, and I am going to start looking around and hunting around, seeing what other kind of seasonal panning I can join in. If you know of any that are going on or you're going to be participating in, definitely let me know. I feel like I should probably take a little bit of a break since I'm about to have a baby. I don't know how one, consistent I'll be with makeup afterwards, but two, how, you know, I'll be able to update or 
show you guys progress and stuff like that after the baby gets here and we're just kind of settling into the new way of life with two kids but anyway yeah let me know down below I will definitely be thinking and looking and uh, yeah I think that about wraps it up I really enjoyed this project pan uh, let me know if you did this project panning challenge and if you were able to finish everything or at least meet your goals for those projects I'd love to hear down in the comments and I will see you very soon in my next video bye guys